I'd like to uh, open the uh, forum up for questions. And if you are going to ask a question, could you use the mic, please? Because that's be this is being videoed, and uh, it actually enhances the sound. So um, I saw a hand up there. Yes, uh, we have a mic. Okay. Thanks. Um, Ty Forward, Grain Grower from Western Australia. We're doing a lot of work now, collecting a lot of data um, around our soil, so uh, nutrition tests in increments um, to depth and pH to depth and coring and EM and gamma. We've got a lot of data across these points and we're, we're running a lot of trials to have interventions and see the results. My question is for the panel, I mean, what opportunities are there to use machine learning to kind of integrate the physical tests, the data that we collect around what's in the soils and, and what we have, um, along with the results that we get from our trials to better understand what we do. Who would like to answer that? Yeah, I'm happy to answer that one. Uh, great question. So there's a lot of machinery um, for doing that uh, matching together of the information. So the tough bit usually is making sure that the spatial context for those measurements are matched up because usually the soil testing that you're doing and the other uh, production things may be measured on different spatial scales. So there, there's a lot of machinery um, around data or analytics that can help with that. And you can go from really complicated approaches to simple approaches because there's always, I speak about the information gain from the explanation pain. So there, there's, there's a lot of uh, technologies that we can assist with that along different levels of sophistication. So, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Any other questions? Yes, uh, David. Uh, David Moore, Horticulture and Nation Australia. It's wrong when it's great we're losing the strange danger uh, element of uh, <laughs> collaboration. So it's fantastic. I'd be really interested to get your perspective on, on how, how do you prospect how do we prospect the environment to, to find out what's out there? Yeah, so a uh, great question. Uh, so recently I did some work with the Cotton Research and Development Corporation actually and I think it's got to do a lot with the leadership in place of their willingness to actually invite strange people along. So we actually brought together and, and assisted them with identifying strangers uh, for coming in together with them to actually replan their strategies and uh, their uh, foresighting for that industry. So I think I'd call out to leaders about identifying people that have really good connections out to all those you know, strange parts of the world to get them in to the foresighting and strategy planning of whether it's, you know, it's an RDC or um, a farmer looking at doing things differently. Thank you. Anything else? Anybody else got a question? I've got one for Tim actually, it's very technical. Tim, those guys get their tractors out? <laughs> and um, by the way, have you sold the photos to John Deere? Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, I, I hope I have. Yeah. <laughs> you always get them out eventually, just needs a bigger, like a bigger hammer. <laughs> okay, is there any more questions? If not, I would first of all say um, I'm the luckiest chairman of these sessions because I got four quality speakers. They were so disciplined in their timing. Um, their subjects were interesting and uh, I think you'll all go away uh, uh, very excited. And I think that's the word for innovation, is excitement. And the other area that I find that's very difficult in uh, making sure that we commercialise some of these things is the adoption rate. And then farmer awareness. Farmer awareness sometimes is very, very low and it takes time to actually penetrate that. But I'd like to congratulate these speakers for their presentations and we'll show that in a normal manner. Thank you very much.